Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be working on high-speed photography and we're going to call this the Edgerton assignment uh, because it does some of the work that Doc Edgerton pioneered in the late 1930s. We're going to be doing high-speed photographs of water droplets. They could be coming out of a spray bottle or a water balloon or whatever. Harold Eugene Doc Edgerton was a professor of electrical engineering at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He was known for high-speed photography, stroboscopic stop-action lighting, deep-sea photography, and he was one of the inventors of sonar. The guy was positively brilliant. One of his very first experiments was showing uh, a golf ball trajectory shot for research and development in 1939. In fact, the golf ball today, which has those little dimples on it, he was the one that invented that. Before his groundbreaking experiments and photographs of how a club head hit a golf ball, there was no knowledge about what happened, how the golf ball compressed and then left the club head, and how it flew. And he developed several different golf balls, and he was the one that eventually came up with all of those dimples on the golf ball to make it fly straight. And he did this with high-speed photography. When the government got in touch with him, because he was doing so many groundbreaking things with high-speed photography, they used him to photograph an atomic bomb exploding in a test in 1944. There has never been anybody that has been able to capture an atomic bomb exploding since. He did some shots of divers for training and as a result of his work the US won all the significant gold medals in the Olympic diving competitions in 1960. Well now we use high-speed photography all the time but in his day the United States was the only one. He also used high speed to show how magic tricks were done. Perhaps his most famous photograph was taken in 1964 of a bullet passing through an apple. And Niels Nordek uh, was a student of Dr. Edgerton and he produced this shot for Smith and Wesson Firearms in 1985 and it was a shot in a dark room using a microphone to trigger the flash. Before this photograph was taken it was not known how far the bullet was out of the barrel when you heard the sound of the bang. Uh, in fact, people thought that the sound of the bang happened when the hammer hit the bullet itself. This is a photograph that I did in 1989 showing sand particles traveling at 350 miles an hour out of a sandblasting um, apparatus. But I have to admit, I didn't do this as a high-speed photograph. I tried it many times, and I was unable to get it, so I just painted all of these in, these little rocks in, and, um, and made smaller and smaller and smaller ones and added them. That was before there was Photoshop, so this isn't really a high-speed photograph. But this one is. Uh, these are just water droplets in my kitchen, and this is a little more like what you're going to be doing. How we're going to accomplish this is we're going to have our camera set up, and then we're going to drop some water or squirt it out of a spray bottle or in some way have water traveling. And we're going to use our flash on the camera to fire an external flash at a low power, and then uh, we may or may not use a uh, mirror. And that's how this was done. Now, you can do water balloons uh, at night. That's a very good one to do. And you have to make sure the water balloons are filled up to maximum pressure because otherwise they will not come apart. This is a really good example of a student of mine, Edward, that did this one. He caught this uh, balloon popping. So here's the uh, assignment approach and the specifications. You have to do this assignment in a dimly lit room or outside at dusk. Make sure that there are no distracting elements in the background. Use an external flash set at a 16th or a 32nd power. 
to shorten the duration of the flash. Set the flash on slave and use your main camera flash to fire it off. If your main camera flash allows, set the flash on manual at 8th power. If your flash is on auto, it will not synchronize with the external flash. Set your camera on manual at a 200th of a second and then begin at F8 and make exposure adjustments as needed. Turn in your best shot in the following format. Uh, that is 11.75 inches wide and 8.25 inches high at 300 uh, dots per inch. Here's some uh, student work. Uh, this was by a ninth grader at Watsonville High. These photographs were all done in one day. People shot them and uploaded them on the same day and that's what I'd like you to do. Okay, let's get to work.